Welcome back to Inside South Florida. I'm Dave Azer. We're going to talk now with Allison Duran Espinoza from the Village Stand in Miami Shores. It's a great new hotspot that has some terrific food, it supports local artisans, and your body will thank you for going there. So here's Allison with the details. Allison, it's great to see you, and anytime you want to come back, you are cordially invited to. I mean, look at this spread. Well, thank you very much for having me. Uh, and I want to thank you because you just introduced me to lavender ice cream and pomegranate soda. Yep. Together. Together. It's good. Made in heaven. And where can I find this delicious concoction? Well, you can find them at the Village Stand. Wow, incredible. Uh, tell me all about the Village Stand. <laughs> Well, the Village Stand is a little teeny tiny gourmet shop in the heart of historic Miami Shores. Okay, and it's yours, you, yeah. you and your hubby. Yep. And uh, it's been around about two years, right? About two years. Okay, so what made you guys decide to, to create it? Well, we uh, moved into the neighborhood, we moved into Miami Shores, and we really wanted to get involved in some way, and we realized that the little downtown area was, you know, it kind of needed something. So we decided that that something was going to be a great little food shop because we feel like people just gather around food and I don't know just that whole idea of neighbors and friendship kind of forming around you know local little things really just made us excited. But you didn't go for like you know sausage or like tacos I mean you went sort of healthy gourmet are you have you always been drawn to that? Well I have always been drawn to um, small you know, small little companies, like little cheese houses, uh, little tiny, small, individual artisan type of products. Okay, so when people go, um, what kinds of foods will they expect? What will they see there? I mean, there's pretty much, there's something for everybody. So, I mean, from what we have here, uh, you know, we have some cheese. Uh, this cheese comes from Vermont, so it isn't local, but it's absolutely, it's rich and delicious, but it's on a local cracker and uh, uh, Pascal's is a grapefruit uh, and lemon jam from uh, Delray Beach. So, you know, something a little bit of something for everybody. How do you get all these products? How do you get uh, local artisans to find out about you? How do you find out about them? What's that process? Well, we we love to scour, you know, the little artisan markets around South Florida. So usually on a Saturday or a Sunday, you'll see uh, George and I just, you know, shopping for ourselves and, you know, finding the new little guy that's up to something really big. And if we like their product and it's the right fit for our shop, we will bring them in. Yeah, and you also, as you mentioned, you, you get food and product from out of the state as well. Yep. So there's a degree of traveling with the job too? There's a degree of traveling. Um, usually in the summers we, we like to travel around, um, you know, into the mountains. A lot of times we find, you know, different little different little products out and about. So as of as of now, summertime, mm -hmm. if people, you know, go into the village stand, what are some of the more delicious seasonal foods that they just have to get? Well, I think that you're having one of them, that uh, lavender honey ice cream from Rock Cat. Uh, he's a local guy that's just making the most delicious ice cream out there. And I'm not just talking South Florida. I think that his is the best ice cream that I've ever had. Yeah, lavender ice cream is good. Lavender ice cream. Who knew? I didn't even know it was a thing. And I know that you really uh -huh. strive to make sure that your products yeah. are clean, they're free of harsh chemicals. Why is that so important to you? Well, to us it's really important because we live in an age where there's, you know, everything is so processed. And we like to find things that are just, you know, they can stand alone. You know, like this cheese, for example, it has no fillers. It's just a one delicious cheese. And you eat it and you're eating something that really is good for you. Yeah, I would imagine, I've, I've not been to your shop yet, but I would imagine that when people go there, I'm just sort of getting the vibe that it's like, you spend your time there, right? We really do. You walk do. around, you know, it's kind of like, are you there like personally greeting everybody? I'm personally there, yeah. either uh, myself or my husband, George. Okay, and you guys do some catering as well, right? You cater we events do. outside, tell me about we that. We do. Well, anytime, uh, you know, we have customers come in, they say, hey, you know, we're having a huge party and we want to have it be, you know, the best you know most gourmet party we can possibly have and so we'll you know we'll make it happen we're not a catering company but we work with catering companies that are really strict about what they serve and so thing. so being such an intimate company and working yeah. so closely with your husband I'm wondering uh, what is that like do you guys get along do you have the same vision all the time is there any of this going on not usually we we pretty much get along we do have uh, differing ideas but we tend to work through it yeah uh, so I'm just, you know, reading the notes that I got here, and you guys make, you make gift baskets as well? We do. Uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves in is making uh, local gift baskets filled with only local products you can find in South Florida. 
Were you surprised, um, or maybe not, at, at all of the talented local artisans and all the great local food that came out of South Florida? Did you, you have an idea it was going to be this good? We had no idea. When we first opened the shop, we thought it was going to be a little fancy food shop. And we started to get to know a lot of the local artisans just here in Miami. We didn't know that there were so many. And it turns out that these artisans here in Miami do have some of the best products available. So what are some of the, the most delicious things that you've sampled? I mean, in addition to the stuff that you brought today. Well, in addition, um, Lori's Pantry Granola is an incredible granola line here out of Miami. If you can imagine the best tasting granola you've ever had and then just times that by 100, that would be Lori's Pantry. That's pretty good. Yeah. By 100, is, oh, yeah. that's pretty 100. strong. 100. Where, where is the village thing going to be in a couple of years? What's the, what's the vision? <sighs> You know, it's really hard to say. You know, we, um, we're playing around with a few different things to bring these local guys, you know, into the forefront. So, you know, we're working right now with uh, the Wolfsonian Museum in Miami Beach to curate an artisan market around an exhibit that they have right now. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Are you guys becoming, is there, is there more buzz now about you? Are people starting to find out about, about your products? Absolutely. I, I think that there is a lot of word of mouth. When people find something that's really good, they just want to share it with others, which is really what we do. If people want to get more information, um, what do they call you? Website? What do you think? They can call us. Our telephone number is 305-458-1229. And uh, they can like us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The Village Stand, and on Twitter, The Village Stand. Very good. Thank you so much for coming in, and uh, best of luck. I hope this thing really grows, and uh, you come back, and you've got nine stores. Thank you. Thank All you right, so much for having it. me. Yeah. Great coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I brewed it. I brewed it naturally, fresh. All right. Cool. You're done. Thank you so much, Allison, and thanks to all of our guests, and we really hope that you enjoyed our show today. If you have any questions or any ideas for what we should cover, all you have to do is tweet me, at Dave Azer, and of course you can follow us on Facebook at Inside South Florida. So we'll see you same time and place next weekend for another episode, and of course you can catch us all week long, every weekday morning from 7 to 9 a.m. on iOpener. So basically, I guess we'll see you every day. Take care. Talk to you soon. <laughs>